Just a little bit. Yeah. Does this work? Yeah. Really? Sorry. Fucking shit. Fucking shit. What do shooting stars, ancient Romans, earbuds, and an app all have to do with each other? They're all the cool geeky things we're gonna talk about on my first studio episode of Geek Beat. Hold on to your butts. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. That's right, they finally let me off the CES floor and out of my office now that the new Geek Beat and Geek House websites are done. I get to play in the studio. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with space, and I still love looking up at the stars. And for the next couple of days, we're smack in the middle of the Perseid meteor shower. They started yesterday and run through August 13th, so if you're going to get a good view or take some pictures, now's the time. Unfortunately, the moon is still pretty bright, so you want to get as far away from the city lights as possible to maximize your chances of seeing some meteors. As for timing, your best bet is to get up early to catch them in the pre-dawn hours. This year's shower is expected to give us between 60 and 100 meteors per hour. That's 60 to 100 meteors per hour, which is like one per minute and I don't know, like it's like a million a night, roughly, approximately. For those of you in the Dallas area, look to the northeast and up about 30 or 40 degrees into the sky. For the rest of you, if you need help figuring out where to look from wherever you are in the world, timeanddate.com can help you figure it out. This link and all of the others are, as always, in our show notes at geekbeat.tv 889. If you're directionally challenged and trying to figure out things like azimuth and altitude gives you nightmares, try the Skyview app by Terminal 11 and point it just above the constellation of Perseus. Skyview is an augmented reality app that overlays astronomical features like planets, stars, galaxies, and satellites over a view of the world around you. So any time of day you can find out where things are, even by, say, looking through the floor. Best of all, the app calibrates to your location so you'll always have accurate readings. Sorry Android, Skyview is iPhone only and comes in both a free and paid version. If you're on Android, take a look at Google Sky Map and let me know what you think in the comments below. You guys know how much I love the GeekBeat community, so please don't try to use this app or any app while you're driving. Distracted driving is as dangerous as drunk driving. Look, each year on average, more than 10,000 people die on the road due to drunk driving. This is serious stuff. My family has had to deal with the results of a drunk driver. Not only was our family affected, but the driver was too. And I can tell you, you do not want to be responsible for altering someone's life just because you didn't hand your keys to a sober friend. In order to stop this deadly epidemic, law enforcement in every state and most of the U.S. towns and cities will be cracking down on drunk driving from August 15th through Labor Day. And they're serious, so drive sober or get pulled over. Okay, so about a year ago, I stumbled onto Mike Duncan's The History of Rome podcast. If you're a history geek, especially for Roman history, then this podcast is an absolute must. It's 180 episodes of audio, taking us from the founding of Rome in 753 BC all the way through the fall of the Roman Empire in 476. I'm just a couple of episodes away from finishing it, and I have a newfound appreciation for all of the things the Romans gave us. Many of our holidays, our wedding traditions, advancements in things like concrete, even indoor plumbing. Thank you, Romans, for that one. They even gave us the modern calendar, 12 months, 365 days, including leap year. Did you know that? Thank you, Mike, for making the 1,200-year journey so fun and entertaining. It took Mike about five years to produce all the episodes, and now you can run through them as fast as you want. Join. you like movies about gladiators? I've been listening to the history of Rome on my morning commute to Geek House Dallas and during the cardio portion of my Geek Fit workouts. If you were able to join us for the Geek House grand opening, you may have gotten a pair of monoprice noise-reducing earbuds in your gift bag. Yeah. If you weren't here for the big event, you can pick up a pair on monoprice.com for eight bucks. Now, before you roll your eyes in skepticism over $8 earbuds, hear me out. <laughs> you see what I did there? Nice. Yeah. These earbuds sound really amazing really amazing. I was blown away by how comfortably they fit in my ear, how well they stayed in during my workout, but mostly just by how good they sound. I can't believe these things are only $8. I've had far more expensive earbuds that didn't perform nearly as well. All right, that's it for now. Give us a thumbs up, a share, or a like if you had as much fun with my first studio episode as I did, and I look forward to seeing you guys online. 
hit me up on Google Plus at plus.google.com slash plus Scott Ellis or on Twitter at VS Ellis. And I'll see you next time. A toast, a toast, a toast. Hmm.